I've yet to check my melons, but the squash bugs were on the spaghetti squash and on the butternut and on the acorn and on the crookneck down at the back of the garden that were wilted that I already showed you at the beginning and I've yet to finish. I still have to go through these spaghetti squash and the rest of my butternut and the rest of my acorn and I'm just cutting the leaves off that have those eggs on them and I'm removing any mulch from underneath the plant and when I cut the egg off when I cut the leaf off I check it to see if it has that white sap in it and if so I'm just going to yank the plant I haven't found any yet but I got a whole lot of squash plants and I hate to see them all go to waste Uh, so in hindsight, I think it was a bad idea mulching, natural or otherwise, around any of these squash plants because it gives those squash bugs a place to hide and also it prevents you from being able to see if you got the vine borers down in there. I didn't mulch around these acorn squash and they don't have any vine borers but it looks like the butternut and the spaghetti squash and my crookneck squash all possibly have vine borers and that's because there was mulch around there and uh, I couldn't see down in there plus I didn't really know what I was looking for I've never had this problem before and I think what it is, is we had a really mild winter, so all these bugs were able to overwinter and were just overrun with them. That's all I can figure because I've never had issues with squash other than the, the bacteria or whatever that causes the fruit themselves to wilt. And the mouthwash always takes care of that. Uh, all these bugs are new to me. I've never had issue with them but I always have pre-treated my soil before I plant and I always till it up in the fall and those are two things that you should do if you want to prevent these kind of bugs from being a problem in the first place if you till it up in the fall it takes those bugs up that we're going to overwinter and it disturbs them and if you pre-treat in the spring with uh, mouthwash and dish soap and stuff like that before you plant a couple weeks before you plant it kills a lot of those bugs and their eggs and stuff off so that you just don't have them so you don't have to deal with them once the plants start growing now I've went through and I've removed all the mulch from around all the squash plants I squished every squash bug and cucumber beetle I found and uh, even killed one of those bind borer moths and uh, went through and pretty much just cut the leaves right off anywhere there was eggs because those eggs are so small I read online that you just rub them off with your finger well they lay their eggs right between the veins so you can't get your finger in there to rub them off and uh, you end up damaging the leaf so I just cut the whole leaf off or tear that whole section of the leaf right off and when I do that I also check them to make sure there wasn't any bacterial wilt which you should see that white sap according to what I read online but what I read was from an agricultural website so hopefully the information is good and I checked probably three or four different sources on that and they all said the same thing so hopefully this will take care of it I'll just have to get out here you know every couple days and check for those adult squash bugs and cucumber beetles and kill them and then also just keep an eye out for the eggs and remove those leaves or if possible take a knife or your finger and scrape the leaves scrape the eggs off of the leaves but other than that I mean things are looking good I definitely have some acorn squash and other squash starting but I don't know, it's just a bummer that 
all that work and now it's just being infested with bugs simply because the soil wasn't turned over in the fall like it should have been and partly my mistake for not pre-treating the soil before I planted and also being out of practice and not knowing what to look for but anyway thanks for watching and uh, thanks for all the comments and support talk to you guys later